All right, y'all, today, got some Auntie Anne's. Gonna be doing some pretzel dogs. Pretty small video, pretty light one. I wanna eat dinner tonight, so gotta keep it light. They only have three different options over here. They have... A pepperoni one. They got a uh, original one. And they have a jalapeno one. I don't know if I've had these before. I, I'm guessing I probably have tried at least one of these before. Um, but yeah, also, like, not much stuff is open. It's it's raining like crazy over here. It's like flooding. It's like on some, on some real parasite type of shit over here, man. It's crazy. Uh, never seen that before. Anyway, so yeah, nothing too crazy. I mean, these do look right on Mali. I love pretzels. I love hot dogs. I love American chains, you know. We also got all four of their sauce options, starting with just regular cream cheese, some hot hot salsa cheese dip, some hot what is that, hot tomato dip, and some cheddar cheese dip. So we're gonna be trying out some different combos here. I feel like this hot tomato dip might be good with the pep. This one will probably take on anything. I don't have any DJ mustard, but that would have been nice as well. Let's just get into it here. They're not scalding hot, but they're warm. They have little cuts in them. I'll show you a quick close up. All right, we're gonna start with the original here and we're gonna go in for just a plain bite. Looking pretty decent. Going in. All right. All right, I get used to that. Had a nice little snap to it. I don't believe this is all beef. I mean, that they're missing out on that, in my opinion, but it's not bad. I've definitely had worse tasting hot dogs. You know, typically I always prefer an all beef hot dog, but sometimes I do like a little bit of other mystery meats included in as well. I mean, just because it's all beef doesn't mean it's not mystery meat, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like they should definitely kick it up. can't really dip this, so you just gotta spread it on like that. Mm. That's really good. The snap is, in, is incredible, actually. The, uh, this little the pretzel, it doesn't really remind me of a pretzel to be honest, but it kind of unravels as you eat it. I feel like if it was a little bit more pretzely or something, it could be even better. I don't think I really have to try this with the tomato sauce to be honest with you, but I do have to try it with some of this cheese dip. So we're gonna go with, with the cheddar. Did I tell you how much this cost? It was like, uh, how much was it? Like 16 bucks. Yeah, there's something just like so good and bad about this. It just, it's hitting, it's ticking the boxes for me, man. Like this kind of fake cheese sauce. The mystery meat dog. Seems like something you would pick up at like, I don't know, yeah, like a mall food court, I guess. Hot salsa cheese dip. I have no idea what to expect with this one. Looks the same. Tastes basically the same. Maybe a little bit of a salsa kick, but like not much at all. They're really trying to trick people out here with that one. I guess since I do have one bite, I will try this tomato sauce or this hot tomato dip as well. And I'm guessing this is gonna be like a pizza sauce. Pretty much. Not bad, I will get that again any day of the week. I don't know if I mentioned, these do appear to have like some burnt cheese on them. That's where you're getting this kind of crispy crust here. And these should be theoretically more flavorful. 
I'm gonna start with the jalapeno. Four of them on there, I think. Not too many, but they're like baked into that cheese. I mean, it's it's pretty solid here, so I'm gonna start with the cream cheese. I feel like cream cheese and jalapenos is a good combo. I, I feel like they actually package that up and sell it like that, so I should have tried it plain. But we'll try playing for the next bite going in. I like that. It's got that more texture dimension with that, that burnt cheese and a little bit more flavor too. Mmm. Man. Andy Ann's, man. Cheddar cheese. That's not bad. I think with this one, the cream cheese really worked for me the best. Since the other hot salsa cheese dip is like basically the same. So going for more uh, cream cheese. Mm. That's real decent, man. But yeah, dude, yo, the rain is insane these days. Shout out my boy Rain, by the way. I didn't think it was raining that much, but then last night I was chilling and I started these, seeing some stuff like crazy floods in Seoul. Probably like sweeping away cars, buses, stuff like that. I was like, what the? Like right in Gangnam, Gangnam style, man, which is crazy. Never expected that. We didn't have a lot of flooding or any flooding that I know of around here, but uh, limited options right now. But of course, Auntie Anne's doing it for the peeps. Three peps, though. I don't know if that one's for the peeps. You would think they'd be able to squeeze on one more on that one, but it's an eye thing, yep. That one's weird. This one's weirding me out. I almost feel like they're using different sausages for each different one, or these have been like rotating or sitting in some kind of oven because all the sausages have like different uh, textures and slightly different flavors, man. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's not bad, but it's definitely not as good as that last one. No. This one seems stale to me. I, I thought I would like this one the best. That's why I saved it for last. Maybe the tomato sauce will help it out. Give it maybe like a little pizza vibe. That actually was better. I wouldn't recommend the, the pepperoni one to be honest with you. But the jalapeno one, I liked it, and I liked the uh, the original too. That last bite is crusty, not in a good way. To me, one of those foods that, like, if you're at a if you're outside somewhere, it's good to eat. Like, sat at a picnic table, maybe at like a at a rest stop, quick gas station, like when you're on the road. That's what you're looking for. But anyway, I'm about to skate out of here. So thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next video. Peace.